Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey it's your girl Jess Bree coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe button on your way in, on your way out. Um, so I'm going to get right to the point. I'm here to talk about a community post that um, Sans the Red, aka The Rat, posted um, two days ago, I just found. <sighs> so I am going to read the post and... You know, share my little commentary as usual. Um, but first, let me give a shout out to a couple of people here. A um, couple of new subscribers. And they are... Um, oh, I've never seen this person, Crown LaJoy. Um, shout out to you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's Sherilyn Hilliard. Hey, girl. Hey, Raven36. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, Yolanda Lewis and Black and Bougie. So, okay, so here we go. Let's see what the rat has for us. And, you know, um, I just want to tell the rat, you need to get some more content out here because I'm sick and tired of having this scrape and scramble for your shit, bitch. You got to get into it. Oh, can I just say this picture with her in the pink pepto mouth? <laughs> Yo, it ain't even... You know, I know some, you know, men are, some men are into, you know, thickness and, and obesity and whatnot. Um, but it's the face for me. Like, it's not giving any, um, modeling vibes. You know, I, I mean, she's not, um, the prettiest person I've seen, but, um, you know, she's not an ugly female but the face honey with the bags that with all this this wig um it's a no but hey i don't have to um i don't have to pay for it oh but just fyi by the way you know they uh um there's been an article posted that only fans is moving more mainstream so uh you know, all the OnlyFans girls that are sharing nudity and whatnot are going to have to find a new platform eventually because I guess they are going to be kicking those, um, that type of view, um, content off of OnlyFans. So you girls are going to have to find something else to do. Um, maybe the rat can come up with a new platform so that, um, you know, since she's so entrepreneurial, since she's so she's such that uh business woman anyway so be prepared rat it's almost time to go you getting evicted <laughs> so here it goes she says i'm the woman that will always hold men accountable no matter what yeah while not holding yourself accountable especially my exes so what do you just, every day you just hold your exes accountable? Like, because this is all you seem to have to talk about is, you know, what happened to you in the past, what happened to you in the past. Like, you don't have shit going on new. You know, if you've been on a date, you ain't even recorded that shit on the low. Like, you could at least, if, if you went on a date, you could at least put your phone on the table and, 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 you know, low-key uh, record the conversation somewhat and edit it, you know, to your liking. So, um, cause we need proof. We need proof that the rat is, um, being courted because I'm just not buying it. Oh, but never mind. She says she don't go out on dates anymore. She turns all the men's down. So men, just remember, don't ask the rat out on a date because she's going to turn you down. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> so she says, hey, excuse me. So she says, oh, Lord, no matter how much time goes by, what? whatever, 
One of them hit me up today to disturb my peace. Oh, boy. Oh, she's talking about Lloyd. I already read this, y'all, so here it go. <laughs> Hadn't spoke to him almost in 10 years. He said some bullshit along the lines of, you lied telling everyone I was verbally and physically abusive. Now, I'm sure this man has went on with his life. He's probably married with children, probably successful. I, I you know, I'm just imagining. Um, I'm just going to look at, you know, the good side. Um, because, you know, we know she can't really, she, you know, she doesn't have that good of a, a judge of a character. So, but anyway, let's just assume that he's gone on and he's living his life, living his best life. Why the fuck would he, why would he care about anything this bra got going on? She, oh my God. It's not like she on the level that some of these content creators like Atasha K, or Lovely T, you know, anybody like that, that, you know, people are really paying attention to that's almost at a million subscribers. This bitch been at 40,000 subscribers for the past six, seven, eight years now. And I could see if she was at that level and somebody like, yo, you need to have me on and let me do an interview or some shit. Anyway, she says, um, I was like, oh, so you just conveniently forgot that you mushed my head into the driver's side of my car? Now listen to this. Why would I lie about a physical altercation we had? I caught you cheating and lying. And to add insult to injury, you said some disrespectful, intolerable crap to me. Okay, listen. After I told you to get out of my truck, you refused to leave. And this led me to slap you for being so damn rude. So, basically, she hit him first. But she justifying it by saying that he said some disrespectful shit. Whatever happened to sticks and stones may hurt my may hurt my bones, but names will never hurt me or however you say that shit. So you hit this man because of something he said out of his mouth. And then because he mushed you, which is not really hitting, but okay. If that's what you want to say. He mushed your dumb ass. Um she says you don't cry if you don't classify any of this as abusive. But you don't take responsibility for your actions and hitting him first, bitch. It's okay for you to hit him and not hit you back? Is that what you're saying? Now all of a sudden he's some he's some uh, 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 abuser. He need to sue your ass for defamation, you fat, funky, gobbly, gobbly ass, uh, 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 Pillsbury Doe girl, bitch. You know what this narcissist response was? Oh, she's a not he's a narcissist. She she's a spiritual whistleblower wannabe. And 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 shout out to um what's her name? What's her name? She over there uh blowing her spot up. Um Draper. She um she put in a spiritual whistleblower on bat blast. Anyway, um, because they're her and the rat are two peas in a pod. They're like the same cut from the same cloth. Spiritual whistleblower and uh, Sansa Ray. He says, "You're still crazy." Then he blocked me. So she says, "We next paragraph. We were weeks before getting married. Oh Lord, the man who couldn't really afford her a ring, so she had to tattoo his name on her finger because he couldn't afford engagement an engagement ring." Are you kidding me? I mean, I could have been 20 years old. I wouldn't have fell for no bullshit like that. But here, this old raggedy ass bitch been engaged allegedly eight times. Ain't got near a ring to show for it. But okay, anyway, we done been all down that train, all down that line. Obviously, I was going to take this man serious, and all he was going to do was be a fuckboy and let me. Let you what? And, 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 and. If you you supposed to be marrying a man that's abusive, so did the abuse just start in the truck, bitch? Because abuse don't usually start like that. Abuse starts. 
Oh, excuse me, Pepsi break, yeah. Abuse usually starts, you know, um, way prior to when you finally decide to leave. But whatever, you know, leave it up to her to tell it. Okay, so... And she was going to take this man serious. Then he got online, allegedly. He should sue the shit out of her. Then he got online and pretending like we never had a physical altercation and I'm just making shit up. Okay, so we never had a physical altercation. Now, it, to some it may sound like I'm splitting hairs, but what it, she's saying we never, she's saying that he pretended like they never had a physical altercation. She didn't say he pretended like we never, he never abused me throughout my relationship. You lying, you lying baboon moose. The only thing valuable that I learned from this man is if a man makes me that angry or fearful of my, oh Lord, fearful of my life, that I have to strike him, I need to call the popo. Oh no, not the popo. No, 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 no. We don't call the popo, bitch. What is you, a Karen now? Why are you calling the popo on a black man? That's not what we do. I mean, I thought we was at the point where we was trying to defund the police. So you gonna call a white man on a black man? Is that what you're saying? Why don't you get a gun, bitch, and learn how to defend your damn self? And never give him access to me again. I have not been in a domestic violent relationship since him. Show. But she went to a domestic violence shelter. And said that Priest was um, mentally abusing her. You can't make this shit up. Since him and all of them were violent before him. What? So she's saying all the men that she dated prior to Lloyd was violent before him. Are you... Gr so, in other words, you had your daughter around a bunch of violent ass abusive men. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Because if that's the case, clearly it's a problem with you, bitch. Because I ain't never had a man raise a hand to me. Not a hand. She says, oh, no, I take that back. I told about my boyfriend in the parking lot. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, but I was in my early 20s. Sorry. Um... I don't want to hit a man, and I don't want him hitting me. But you did. All it took was one fight for me to be done with him. Don't ever let a man speak to you disrespectfully or put his hands on you. And don't you, for damn sure, give him the opportunity to communicate with you ever again if he does. Hmm. Hold yourself accountable for poor choices in men and hold men accountable for mistreating you. He called me crazy because I refuse to pretend like it never happened like he does. I'm too beautiful inside and out to be beat on, lied to, or manipulated. Turn pain into power. And then underneath, she's got this picture of herself. This is a cute outfit. But she's got this, this face that just looks unhinged <laughs> ah! um so okay so i'm gonna read a couple little posts that she posted and let's dissect these as we go here we go at the end of the day it does not matter how much money you have what you do not have amounts to much more oh so now money don't matter bitch but every time you turn around you talking about it that you just, you know, you got all this and this and that, but you can't pay your mother medical bills. 
because they're so astronomical that you, you know, you, Miss Multi Multi Millionaire, can't afford to pay your own mother medical bills. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's see. Um, I wonder if she gonna start charging. Where are your prices at for your uh uh consultations, uh, rat? Um, you should do like spiritual whistleblower. She charged what fifteen dollar or uh uh what fifteen dollars for fifteen minutes of um um counseling. Child. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Bitches get to come on here and just live the fantasy life that they, you know, wish they had. <laughs> <laughs> um i'm gonna try to make this i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make this 30 minutes okay let's read this <sighs> here we go hear me good i don't know if i i don't think i read this already oh yes i wait did i Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I read this already. Um, keep your head to the sky. Ah, ah. Um, all right, here. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. There are better people in the world than the ones who put you down. Do not let the worst of the worst. Oh, shut up. Do not let the worst of the worst do the worst to you. Girl, shut up. Okay, let's see. So the girl's under 30. Let's see what advice she has for the girls under 30. Don't worry about a man cheating on you. You only worry when you are afraid to lose him. The truth is, if he cheats, he isn't the prize, and it's you that he's losing. Cheating, lying, and manipulation of any kind is a deal breaker. Don't be the down-ass chick. Be the one that got away. Secure your own bag. Men are not providers. They are maintainers. They are there to help enhance the luxury lifestyle that you have all created for yourself. Don't expect them to take care of you if you don't even know how to take care of yourself. Self-love first. All right, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. From the person who um, hates relationships. <laughs> Ciao. So, this video she posted embracing her depression weight. I don't know what that means, but child, her walking away. Oh, wait, I got my earpiece on. Hold on. I'm going to play it. Y'all can't, I mean, you got to. You fat cow hippo. Child, y'all see how she looking at camera and then turn away? Not even a man can handle a whole lot of good women. It's okay. I would travel, get money, and eat good alone. Girl, you got to eat eat alone part. And clearly you eating good because you got a lot of damn meat on your bones. Um. All right. Let me see. All right, y'all. Some new um post on Lipstick Alley. Um, oh, in regards to the rap. So here we go. This is so sad in regards to her um post um her OnlyFans pictures that um STL posted on his live. It reads um. This hotel living woman is de severely desperate and delusional. Okay, so somebody in the comment section, tell me. Okay, if she living in a hotel, or a motel, rather, 
Um, hmm. where do the people, where do the kids and stuff be when she doing all this carrying on? What the hell did she think she was doing when she was doing that awkwardly weird looking Andy Camp bounce in the hotel chair with the thin hotel towel over it? There is no amount of money in the world that will make me stoop as low as she has. I can see her doing porn on her OnlyFans eventually. Shit, they about to cancel that shit out. She gonna have to find her a whole nother platform. I wouldn't have thought so before, but since Tommy Sotomayor went on, I see how desperate these people really are. I can see her foolishly copying. She's been trying to get for his attention for some time anyway. She's so completely gone. And this is if she has no dignity at all. And it's just fine to base in the hell out of herself a little bit off topic. But I've noticed that nearly everyone that Sansa has beef with and shows himself on camera have much better living conditions than herself. Nearly everyone appears to be in homes, even ones that seem the most off. That should be very embarrassing to her and telling to see that, but she chooses to see nothing. Okay. This person says, Sansa Rae is definitely at a low time in her life. She's been living in California for more than three years and still living in a hotel room. And she's barely been to Las Vegas since she's been there. I can't get a video of Rodeo Drive or uh, freaking Beverly Hills, Calabasas. Anyway, um, she's not sexy at all. She looks awkward and desperate in most of the pics. The video in which she bounces naked on the chart chair is cringeworthy at this point she might as well turn tricks she's probably making a complete fool of herself um you know i mean at the end of the day she's an adult um doing adult content i don't feel as strongly about that as i guess some of y'all do um i mean if people are paying for it you know get your money um, I personally don't find it attractive, and I've watched women porn. Um, she turned; she does not turn me on in any way. So I don't, you know, I, it doesn't work for me. But whoever works for they, you know, it works for them, I guess. Um, let me see. Okay, so this is. The stuff about Kathy. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this here because she has nothing going on, literally. Like, Sansa, I need you to make some more content. Come on now. You bored me. You bored me, girl. Get into it. Get into it. <laughs>